The rising cost of a Thanksgiving celebration eased top of mind as we head into the holiday. Inflation making it tougher to get that Thanksgiving feast on the table. Data from the annual Farm Bureau survey showing you'll pay 20 percent more for a dinner that feeds 10 people this year. And it's not just the grocery bill hitting the holiday spirit. Residents in New Jersey and across the country say they're planning to cut back on gift giving and even seasonal travel to save a few bucks. That's according to a new Stockton University poll out this week. Affordability is considered one of the most pressing issues in the state, and many homeowners say property taxes are among the biggest burdens. Well, late last week, the Murphy administration announced it'll extend the deadline to file for a new property tax relief program called Anchor, and you may be eligible. Governor Murphy joins me now. Governor Murphy, welcome to the show. Uh, your administration, of course, looking to address some of the financial challenges hitting people uh, one way through this anchor property tax program. How's the application process going, first of all? Brianna, good to be with you. It's actually going quite well. Um, last tabulation I saw out of, I think, 2.2 million eligible homeowners or renters and I should go through that that's a historic step that we've taken for renters. Just under a million have applied already. And thanks to the Senate president and speaker, Nick Scatari and Craig Coughlin, we've worked together to extend the deadline till January 1st, 2023. So we've got uh, just over two more, two months to go. We added a staple, an extra month onto that. And we're also putting some muscle into promoting more aggressively the existence of Anchor to make sure everybody knows that it's out there. But so far, so good. There's a lot of pain at the kitchen table. Most of it is inflation and affordability. This is historic property tax relief at, at levels that we've never seen before. As I mentioned, it includes renters for the first time. Right. We want to make sure everybody out there knows about it and if they're eligible to sign up for it. That deadline extension, is that just to keep up with the demand of the amount of folks applying? Uh, or is it because, as you said, you know, you all are looking to get the word out um, about the program? Were you looking for more it's, of an uptake? Yeah, it's both. It's a good question, Brad. It's, it's both. It is allow us to put some more muscle into uh, raising the awareness of the program. And, and, and secondly, a lot of people, as you I'm sure reported on early on, the, 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 uh, the, there was an overwhelming amount of uh, phone calls and website hits. And by the way, if I may, Brianna, if folks out there just go to nj.gov, our basically landing page, you're going to see an anchor uh, bill, billboard right there. Uh, press on that and you go right into the whole application process. And if you'd rather use the phone, although I think the website's probably the most efficient is 1-88-238-1233. So it's 1-88-238-1233. Either way, if folks are earning up to $250,000 and own a home or $150,000 and rent, this is historic. Yeah, certainly we'll link uh, to those sites, uh, Governor, because people are going to want to check and see if if perhaps uh, a check is coming for them, which does make this program different, right? I mean, folks will actually see either a direct deposit or a check in the mail when the previous program, this is the successor to the Homestead program, I mean, you saw that line item take it off of your property tax bill. Yep. This is a, this is a check. This is cash uh, on the barrel in, in the mail to you. Absolutely. Talk and by me. the way, the numbers, Brianna, yeah. I have to say this. If you own a home and you make up to $150,000 a year, the rebate is $1,500. So that's taking the average person who own, owns a home at that income level. It's like a 16 or 17 percent reduction. It takes property taxes back to 2011 levels. Then if you make up to $250,000, you get $1,000, uh, so it's still 10 or 11% reduction. And again, if you're a renter for the first time ever, you make up to $150,000, you get a $450 rebate. So these are big numbers. The Treasury Department governor, when we talk to them, they say, listen, we view this as an annual program. Is it though, as it stands right now, this is written into budget language only? 
Yeah, but I, I would say, Brianna, we're trying to draw a line uh, and, uh, firmly in the sand forever and for always under good behavior as a state. New Jersey used to be AAA bond rated. Uh, people could trust us. We did what we said and committed to. And for whatever reason, on both sides of the aisle over several decades, we lost our way. Uh, so just as the pension payment is an annual appropriation, this will be as well, but we're making a commitment to folks that we wouldn't have gone to the level we've gone to unless we had the confidence that this is this is going to be part of our reality going forward year in and year out, no matter who succeeds me. It's going to be good fiscal affordable affordability behavior that we will stick with forever and for always. How sustainable a reality is that, Governor? I think the last time we saw uh, something like this was during the Corzine era. And then, of course, in 08, we saw uh, the you know horrific recession hit. Uh, what's different now that would protect the state from that? Is this a sustainable program? Yeah. That's a good question. So we, we actually have stress tested the budget and our projections, as you can imagine, we're starting to put the pieces of the budget together for fiscal year 2024, which begins next July. We have wargamed both a mild and a severe recession. When I say severe, severe at the level of 2008, 2009. And we are very much still, I'm happy to report, able to keep the state uh, not only afloat, but with a sizable surplus, and that includes and assumes that anchor is being paid out at the full level, as well as the pension payment and other school funding obligations, et cetera. So I, I can report to folks with a very, very high degree of confidence that this is going to be a forever and always reality. This is, of course, based on folks who had both residency and uh, reported taxable income for the 2019 year. Uh, we know you can't do a program like this in real time, but why use 2019? Why not a more recent income tax year? I, I defer to the treasurer, but I think she would say if she were on that that's the latest, most uh, accurate and complete set of data that we have. Uh, and my guess is we'll get better and better at this, but there will always be a lag between the current reality and what you're paying uh, in your property taxes and the income upon which uh, your eligibility is based. Uh, but but I think we can live with that and the, and the money isn't any less real. Uh, Governor, I just want to shift gears slightly. Of course, the tragedy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Unfortunately, we've had too many conversations about tragedies like this. I know you held a conference call with the attorney general and some leaders from New Jersey's LGBTQ community yesterday. Can you share what was discussed and how the state is ensuring safety um, at LGBTQ spaces? Uh, yeah, it's a, an, another good question. Sadly, we've had too many of these calls. Uh, well, first of all, we expressed our deep empathy, sympathy, and sorrows for the victims, both the, those who were killed as well as the folks who were injured and their families. Secondly, we committed beyond any shadow of a doubt to continue to respect completely the LGBTQIA plus community and to have their backs uh, as a as a hard law enforcement commitment, uh, whether it's to locations or events or individuals. Uh, New Jersey, I'm happy to say, is on the right side of history. That doesn't mean everybody in our state sees it that way, uh, which is why we've, we've got to be vigilant. Uh, but we will do everything we can to stand by the community, not just in this time of tragedy, uh, but going forward each and every day. Are you considering or, or would you support funding some of the security or safety measures uh, at some of these centers? I know at least one community center in Asbury Park uh, has made a request for federal and state funding to help with you know, both equipment and personnel. Is that something the administration would consider? We'd cl clearly be open to that. We do that, as you know, in many other venues uh, which are sadly too regularly under threat, like synagogues and religious schools, where we have grants to harden uh, the, the, the actual entity, as well as monies to help pay for security personnel. That, that is something clearly would be open-minded to. And just to be clear, uh, based on current intelligence, Governor, no known threats uh, to no. the state at this time. 
thank God we had we had our annual pre unrelated to the tragedy at, at Club Q in Colorado. We had our annual pre holiday head check. Obviously, we stayed vigilant throughout the holidays, but thank God at the moment, nothing credible uh, and nothing specific. But I would just encourage folks around the holidays to be always vigilant and God willing, folks will get through safely, soundly and have great holidays, which leads me to say to everybody out there, happy Thanksgiving, a unique American holiday. I hope everybody's a great one. Thank you. Governor Phil Murphy for us this evening. Uh, happy holidays to your family as well. Thanks, Governor. Thanks, Brianna.